What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today we're gonna be doing a very highly requested phone comparison, and we're gonna see who has the best $500 Android smartphone on the market right now, and this is the OnePlus 5T versus the Essential Phone. We're gonna take a look at everything from build quality to battery life to camera quality, so if you're looking to buy one of these for your next smartphone, then you came to the right place. First, let's start with the build quality. The OnePlus 5T has an all metal build. It's simple in design, but it's effective. It's subtly curved on the back. It's comfortable to hold, and it feels like a premium product. The Essential Phone has a totally different look. It's more squared off with harder edges. This phone is built with some high-end materials, and you can see it instantly. You get a titanium frame with a full ceramic back. It's all beautifully fused together. And some people might fight me on this, but I think this is one of the best built phones released this year. And it just feels so solid and so heavy in the hand. It's built like a tank and there's just something about it when you feel it and when you have it in your hand. So when it comes to raw in the hand feel, I would take this over the OnePlus 5T. They both have large and fantastic looking displays, but they are different. The OnePlus 5T has an 18 by 9 1080p optic AMOLED display, very colorful with tons of contrast. Content looks fantastic on this phone, and the bezels are minimal on the top and bottom. But with the Essential Phone, it has a more of a futuristic look with this unconventional 19 by 10 aspect ratio and a higher resolution 2516 by 1312 Quad HD display. It has that edge to edge look with the original notch cutting out from the front facing camera. I don't mind the way this looks, and if you're watching video, it automatically resizes so it doesn't get in the way but it could bother you, so keep that in mind. The one thing that you do need to know about the Essential Phone's display is that it's not the brightest, so you may have some problems with outdoor visibility. Where with the 5T, you're not gonna have those problems because it's a nice and bright display. Both have their faults like the single speaker at the bottom. It's easy to cover up when you're holding it, and they both don't have wireless charging. There is an upcoming accessory that you can buy on the Essential Phone to enable this down the road but the OnePlus 5T still has a headphone jack, so I find that to be a major win, and the OnePlus Alert Slider is one of the most underrated hardware features on any phone. The Essential Phone does have a neat magnetic pin connection on the back that allows for modular accessories like this 360 camera, but accessories are so limited at the moment that I don't find it to be a selling point at this time. Security-wise, they both have fingerprint scanners on the back, both quick, but I say the OnePlus 5T is faster if you care about that. And the OnePlus 5T has a face unlock feature that is just crazy fast. I mean, it's almost too fast. It's just insane. You gotta see it to believe it. It's unreal. Speaking of security, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, LastPass. I didn't know about LastPass until later this year, but it's a super powerful password manager that makes my life so much easier. Since I'm blessed enough to test out multiple phones throughout the year, I used to hate putting in my passwords again, especially my social accounts, but with LastPass, I can just tap one button and use autofill, and it's super quick. I'm that person that you know that has to reset one of their passwords on one of their accounts every month, and I am a victim of one of those that made all my passwords very similar so I don't forget them, but with LastPass, I can actually make my accounts even stronger because I can make those passwords as long as I want, and I only need to remember one password for all of my accounts. And since I use a ton of different devices and I hop in between them, it doesn't matter if I'm on my tablet, my phone, my computer, or even a friend's computer, I can have access to all of my passwords securely. So this helps a ton. Right now, I'm only using this for passwords, but I'm gonna start using this for my payment cards, addresses, and personal notes too. So do yourself a favor and try for free with the link in the description below, and you're gonna wonder how you lived without it. So let's continue and talk about the power in these phones. They both run the Snapdragon 835 processor, but the OnePlus 5T has six gigabytes of RAM standard and has an available eight gigabyte model if you pay a little bit more, which is insane. And the Essential Phone has four gigabytes of RAM. The Essential Phone does come with double the storage at 128 gigabytes, where the base model OnePlus 5 comes with 64 gigabytes, so you have to pay a little bit more for the 128. And they are both UFS 2.1 storage, so both fast. The Essential Phone performance used to be spotty, but with a ton of software updates, the experience is now smoother, scrolling is nice, and it's still not the fastest phone out there, 
but I love the simple and near stock Android experience and gaming is also pretty solid on this phone too with some nice frame rates. Where I feel like the OnePlus 5T pulls away is on the software side. You get that stock look and feel, but the controls and customizations are much deeper with Oxygen OS. You can set a dark theme if you want to get better battery performance out of the AMOLED display. There are a ton of customizable gestures. You get support for icon packs without using another launcher. You can toggle full screen mode. So much more you can customize. It's all a preference thing, so let me know which one that you prefer in the comment section below. So let's round things up with the battery life and the camera. The Essential Phone has a 3,040 milliamp hour battery, while the OnePlus 5T has a slightly larger 3,300 milliamp hour battery, but I don't find the performance to be much different. With both of them, I'm getting about four to five hours of screen on time. It depends on my usage per day, but I wouldn't say either of these have killer battery life, but they should get you through the day. But if you do need to top up, they both feature quick charging capabilities with the included chargers, but dash charging on the OnePlus 5T still remains the fastest plug-in charging that I've seen yet in my testing. Every time I've tested it, I'm getting about 96 to 97% charge in 60 minutes. That's really fast. So let's get to what everybody wants to know. Which one has the better camera? They both have dual camera setups, but have totally different approaches. The Essential Phone has a dual 13 megapixel camera setup with f1.8 aperture, and one of them being a monochrome sensor, while the OnePlus 5T has a 13 megapixel main camera with f1.7 aperture, and a secondary 20 megapixel camera for better low light shots. The camera interface is very simple on the Essential Phone. It's not a lot of features here, but you do get toggles for the new portrait mode and the monochrome camera. The speed of the camera app is still inconsistent. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it lags a little bit in between shutter and processing, so keep that in mind. But I think that the front-facing camera on the Essential Phone is the first one to record 4K video. The OnePlus camera software is much better in my opinion and faster with better organization. The modes are easy to get to and there's a full manual mode with raw capture and portrait mode is also available. Let's look at some of the photos. All of these shots were taken in auto mode to keep things as fair as possible. In daytime photos, I was surprised how far the Essential Phone has come with all of its camera improvements. It's doing a good job keeping up with the OnePlus 5T, which is surprising, and sometimes even getting better photos. So I hope Essential keeps working on this. But most of the pictures, the OnePlus 5T is showing higher dynamic range and handling the shadows better, and also producing the slightly brighter, more vibrant pictures. When it comes to portrait mode, I'm surprised how good the Essential Phone is doing in some of the shots, but after reviewing a bunch of them, the OnePlus 5T is more consistent, has sharper results with better object detection like on this bike handle and also on this flower. Here are a few shots with the front facing camera. Let me know which ones that you think look better. I'm going to have to pick the OnePlus 5T here, even though I think they both could be better. Both of these phones shoot 4K video, but if you notice, the Essential Phone has zero stabilization at this time. They said EIS might come with a software update, but you can see how bad the walking video is. The OnePlus 5T has electronic stabilization and it's doing a decent job. On nighttime video though, it's a totally different story. The OnePlus 5T video is super noisy with muddy details, while the Essential Phone has great noise reduction and vibrant colors, so this was a total shock to me. But when it comes to the low life photos, the OnePlus 5T fights back with better noise reduction and better detail. The white balance is also more accurately represented here by the OnePlus 5T. The exposure is handled much better, showing higher dynamic range in most low light shots, better details in the shadows, and noise levels are so much better with the new update that just came out. The Essential Phone is terrible at selfies at night, so I wouldn't take them. The OnePlus 5T absolutely crushes the Essential Phone here. Plus you have a flash mode on the 5T which can give you better front facing camera shots. So I'm gonna have to give the overall camera win to the OnePlus 5T. So what do you guys think? This is a really tough one to call. 
And I do have to say the Essential phone when it was first released for $700, it was definitely not worth it. But it's had a ton of updates now. And I think even on Black Friday, they were selling it for like 400 bucks, which is almost a no brainer because now you're cutting the price down and things are getting better. I wish the phone would have just launched like this. If I had to pick one, and this is a hard one, and if you care about my opinion at all, I would probably pick the OnePlus 5T, and that's because it gets software updates, the camera is more consistent, and I think it's just a better overall package when it comes to your $500. I wouldn't hate you if you bought the Essential phone, especially if you can buy it for a discount again, because now that price for performance thing is really getting crazy with the Essential phone. So let me know which one that you like best in the comment section below. I'm very curious because I was really excited to test these two phones together like this because they are literally the best phones in this class at that price point. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more comparisons like this and for more awesome tech videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.